Welcome to What's Trending Live from the Samsung Vlogger Lounge at South by Southwest. It is day three. I'm Cheryl Lazar. This is the lovely uh, head writer of What's Trending, Lon Harris. You're too kind. How's it going? Pretty good for day and three. And we have a great audience. How are you doing, audience? Yes, that's what I like to hear. And segment. joining us on stage today, Mark Duplass and Patrick Bryce from the movie Creep. How's it going? Good. How's it going? I, I'm good. And congratulations, the movie premiered last night. And you said it went very well. It played through the roof, y'all. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Who, 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 we, raised, we raised that roof, <laughs> did. as it were. Um, the movie, you know, you go online, there's not a lot about the movie online. Was that there's, We can find on one purpose. picture of a silhouetted person at the top of a staircase. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, write 10 questions about this. <laughs> so was that intentional? Yeah, I think we, we've uh, shown the movie to quite a few people, and we discovered the less they know about it, the better. So uh, I think if you walk into the movie knowing that um, it, it's about uh, a sort of strange Craigslist encounter um, that goes down the wormhole and, uh, you know, sometimes you show up to buy that Ikea bed and um, the person you're buying from has a little too much eye contact mm -hmm. and, and their personal space is a little uh, off and mm -hmm. they maybe like hug you a little too soon and start talking about their divorce after like five minutes. Like, maybe that's a sign you shouldn't be hanging out there. <laughs> Is that something that you guys have gone through? Creepy, I think, crazy I think everybody's had something like that. Or, or dating apps like Tinder, it happens. Um, well, we're both married, so we're well, super not, boring not, on no. that front. <laughs> um, but, Nothing for you there. But it, last night, even after the premiere, we were, like, doing our little bro down, like, hug it out. I love you, man. Thanks for making the movie with yeah. me, all that <laughs> stuff. Right. And, like, somebody just, like, <laughs> drunkenly started walking up, and it was, like, a bearded young filmmaker who proceeded to have um, a weird obsession with Patrick. He, but he loved me. you, but he was looking he at was me looking the whole at time. You. Very strange. And it was like it, it was like he literally stepped right into our movie. And <laughs> for the next for the next five minutes, like tried to compliment, but then would get ashamed and would go away. <laughs> and then would come back and would offer us sips of his drink. Oh yeah, that's and, so good. And we were like sips. There's the, there's the sequel. It's happening right here in the parking lot. <laughs> it ended with version. him giving us all of his drink tickets <laughs> and like walking away. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. Fascinating. So, a net positive. This is actually not, Mark, you've made a, another movie that involves a like weird encounter based on classified ads. Like, why is that such a fertile kind of I'm only making movies based on classified ads from now <laughs> from on. This one. It's a unilateral approach to my career. I want you to know what to expect from me. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It's like Wes Anderson. It's perfectly manicured yeah, yeah, exactly. sets. You're like, yeah. oh, it's the classified Wes ad. Wes Anderson guy. of Craigslist. Yeah. <laughs> they are going extinct, so you know you're just gonna keep them going. I just, I'm <laughs> obsessed with weird people, and Patrick and I are really close friends, and uh, we're we're kind of like people watchers, and and. Uh, in fact, we even talked about you guys when we first met you. Like, I'm there's a whole bunch of weird shit going on. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, um, it's true. We embrace it actually. And uh, yeah, we just kind of wanted to get to the bottom of that. So uh, yeah, we're just we're obsessed with odd behavior. You're a first-time director. Yes. Congratulations. Indeed. Oh, thank you. You've been broken in. Yes. <laughs> Mark, Mark broke me in. <laughs> he, got <laughs> real, he got real broken in. <laughs> it's an uncomfortable way to put <laughs> it. But. We did not bone. We did I not. Told you I was right. weird. Is that an exclusive? <laughs> the first time you talk about it, you did not. So, uh, wh why was this a uh, project that you wanted to jump into as a director? Uh, well, Mark and Mark had kind of been mentoring me coming out of film school, and we just wanted an excuse to work together, and this came out of conversations with that, basically. Mm -hmm. I also have two young kids, and I need an excuse to go up to a cabin for a little while and just get away. <laughs> Is that why you work so much? This that's constantly it, moving, going out, like, look, it. I gotta go for like a week. Yeah. I'm shooting. <laughs> it's a movie. So we gotta, I gotta shift gears here. We, we've been watching The League obsessively back at the house where we're staying. It's coming back for a sixth season. That's right. Congratulations. anything you can let us know about, the, about this coming season, what to expect, what's going to happen? I can give you a couple of hints. Love it. There are going to be um, a few extremely verbose dick jokes. Okay. You can always expect that's that. That's surprising, Not actually. so far. Yeah, that's, that's definitely going to happen. It's a new direction for the league. <laughs> yeah, it's a new direction for the league. There will be a reference to fantasy football in which someone fails miserably in trying right. to achieve their greatest goals. Sure. Um, I'm going to give a lot, about 20 to 25 extremely smug reactions to <laughs> situations that, that happen. That few. Shocking. Yeah, yeah that's going to happen. <laughs> right. And then um, I'm going to, my character will uh, inevitably date and or have sex with someone that is way too young for him. Is that improvised or is that part of the script? The dating people are too young? <laughs> yeah, um, well, you know, life imitates art, imitates life, imitates 
Tinder. I don't know what. <laughs> no, no, I don't know where we're going. Still going. Uh, all right, let's go. Should we play our game? Let's do the game. I'm excited about. We this. have a game. Are you ready for a game? Yeah. Are you guys ready know. for a game? Yeah. It's called. I'm it's, talking to all of you watching. Are you ready for a game? They're not ready. Clearly. Internet, are you ready for a game? So here right. it is. It's called. We're calling it Craigslist Creepiest Creeps because right. it's inspired by the film. <laughs> So I have here a tablet. You'll have to hand them. I guess one tablet will work. Okay, We've great. got we'll who share. should read what. Can we keep this? Yeah, it's yours from now on. Uh, <laughs> so there's five. Aust- these are real Austin Craigslist posts from this week. We're going to show them on the monitors as well. We want you to go back and forth. You'll read them to us, and then we'll all decide who is the creepiest Craigslist creep go ahead. this week. Should you read? Do you want to hear? Uh, all, you want camera? us to read each one? Yeah, yeah. Go, go down. I even marked on there which of you should read which one. This is one your camera, right okay. so feel free to. Because that's read called producing. That's what I do. Okay, this is the number one on Craigslist creepiest creeps from labor gigs, quote unquote, looking for a person with tools to build me a couple of these fancy mouse traps. Period. You tell me how much. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Pretty creepy. I would say that's kind of creepy. On I took the, screenshots so people did not oh, think perfect. I made these I'll up. Say, I'll say on the creepometer, we're at a 7.5 <laughs> out of 10. Creepy. Because, look, they put it out there with the word fancy. All right? <laughs> right. They're already saying something huge here. When you say fancy <laughs> mousetrap, that means you're going to be spending at least two to three hours there. Yeah. And so you're already coming with your guard up a little bit. Definitely. So that, to me, tells me that this is not a true creep. Because if it was a true wow. creep, they would try and make you feel like it was only going to be a few minutes... And they want you coming in with your guard down. Be right? a little coded. So this guy, this guy's, he's legit. He's fine. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. He really wants a fancy mousetrap. I just he want to know what that YouTube video links Basically, to. Basically, it's too weird to be fake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is from uh, Strictly Pl- Platonic. Right. <laughs> I am looking for a cool younger guy to get together with to go to a movie or chill at my place. I'm a fun, laid-back guy, masculine, clean. You forgot just, I'm not looking for no, sex. No, I, I, I abridged no. it a little bit. So I'm not here all, all day. Just. Oh, I'm not looking for sex. He says I'm not looking for sex in the ad, just so everybody knows. <laughs> just putting that all, all just out keep there. that in there, yeah. I am fit and attractive. I prefer to hang with guys under 27, <laughs> laid-back as well, and like to do fun stuff. If you're interested, let me know a little about yourself. Please be fit, masculine, and kind of chill. He doesn't want to hang with somebody who's not masculine. Basically, as long as you go to a gym, smoke weed, and are under 27, this, you're like a perfect fit for Can this guy. Can roll with this guy. Yeah, he's down. You're totally fine. Uh, I don't know. It depends, because like, there's, no, there's nothing like evil going. It sounds, he sounds like a cool guy. Maybe he's lonely. There's one little thing in here that's, that's disturbing me, and it's, and it's how many times he uses the word chill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, to me, means he's over the age of 60. <laughs> He just is, learned that word. This is the word that young people use right. to get people in. So I'm going like 9.2 on the oh, creepometer. That's high. That's I'm not thinking. Tough. I'm not thinking murder uh, on this one, but I'm thinking like this is the guy where you get there and he's like, "I want you to kill me and I want you to eat me." <laughs> so this is heavy. All right, this is for number three from Missed Connections. Yeah. IKEA bearded beauty. That's the headline <laughs> on this one. Quote, unquote, five minutes till closing, a sturdy man retrieved my sturdy new bed. Yet at the end of our slow strolling from aisle 30 to 32, I was feeling weak in the knees. But now I'm finding the energy to kick myself for not giving you my number. I'd love to grab coffee with you, talk about indie music, and what you want to do with your anthropology degree. Okay, couple of... Oh, oh. Oh, I mean, a couple of things right off the bat. Um, this sounds like um, it was an action sequence, right? That someone saved right. someone from a bed falling. Um, sure. How did the conversation develop with indie music and anthropology? Is it like yeah. he was running in and was like, I'll, I'll save you. Do you like Bonnie Fair? I'm studying anthropology. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm, what I'm guessing here, uh, and this, this could just be me, is uh, this person is uh, completely delusional. Yeah. Was was never at IKEA. No. This There's was no sturdy bed at all. This was a dream for <laughs> sure. Ending, yeah. And uh, they're just like basically gonna realize when they get no responses um, at a certain point that they're not living in this universe. So quite possible. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say zero on the creepometer because they're just fucking crazy. I feel bad for them. No, actually. they're just crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, these are so good. <laughs> I know. Let's just keep them going. Oh, my God. We're going to all in the spent too long on Yeah. This. This from, from Free Stuff, which is my favorite section oh, on Craigslist by far. 
mixture, <laughs> mixture of horse manure and pine shavings. Minimum load of one pickup truck or trailer, please. No maximum load. Take as much as you can haul away. Sorry, this is a personal residence and I'm unable to manage the time accommodate load of less than pickup truck load. Okay. I know what this is. <laughs> this is a non-English speaker. Right? I feel yeah. very... <laughs> but this is, this is like 58-year-old farm guy yeah, right. and he has a weird codependent relationship um, with his like Hispanic uh, housekeeper. <laughs> sure. And he's trying to figure out how to get rid of it and she's like, my son is like really interested in the internet and really good at it right. so he tried to uh translate it for uh, for this kid, and it oh got yeah. translated right. kind of poorly yeah and it didn't so come out no wrong no pine shavings in there at all no this is not and this is not creepy this is pure the guy's got a lot of shit <laughs> he's ready to give it away <laughs> yeah this it's old very, it's old school this is very altruistic utilitarian all right, yeah. all right we okay. got one more we got one, one more. more number five from free stuff yet again Quote, unquote, I have a haunted toilet someone can have. That picture is classic. I, I did not make that. That was real from the end. I no longer want or trust it. <laughs> Please come get it. Built on an ancient Indian burial ground. Comes with three ghosts. Never go to the bathroom alone again. Wow. By the way, it started out, it's back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I got other words where obviously this had been posted and then oh. taken down and then was reposted. Uh, the, toilet the ghost, the ghost came up. back. Right. Yeah, it, right. it, you can't get rid of it. I mean, I guess the question is like, you know, when something is haunted, it just means that um, such a traumatic event happened mm -hmm. to someone right. on that, that toilet that that that, <laughs> that the spirit is not allowed to move on right. and and it, and it lingers. So clearly we have a, uh, a, a Taco Bell fan here uh, who has yeah. done terrible things to his toilet over the years. Uh -huh. And the spirit of everything that's happened there is lingering, which just means it smells awful in there. Right. Mm. So not a creep at all. I mean, I'll give him like a, uh, like a two because right. he's eating Taco Bell yeah. three times a day. But, um, that's cool in your book, right? That's fine. Yeah. Right. Like I, Chalupas, right? That could be me, honestly. Like I, <laughs> I could have posted that. You're the so. toilet ghost. Yeah. Thank you for your there insights. You so number two was the winner, oh. the strictly platonic guy who wanted to hang out with someone fit. Just oh, for anybody absolutely. For sure. Score the biggest all. creep. 9.2. Well, this is week. fabulous. Thank you guys so much. Patrick yeah, thanks, and Mark guys. Creep, go check it out. In Thank theaters at South by Thank Southwest. You. We love you, guys. A lot of love we here. We love you. Just, am I a creep now that I just said that? I don't even know you. The longer it lingers on now that you've said thank you and everybody's clapped, the creepier. <laughs> All, right. All right, guys. Everyone watching online and also here in person, uh, the content programming continues. We've got Jenny Slate from Obvious Child, Elia Shawkat. Many more people, uh, Tony Shea from Zappos and yeah. the Vegas Tech Fund. All coming up. So that's all coming up on YouTube.com slash What's Trending from the Samsung Blogger Lounge. We'll see you in just a bit. Bye, guys.